Now the other thing we might want to do from a table is display it graphically. So a histogram is a common way to do a graphic display assuming the data are interval or ratio scale of measurement. And a histogram is a little different than a bar graph in one important way, and that is histograms all the bars touch. In a bar graph, the bars don't touch. And this matters because it is resemb resembling the nature of the data that underlies it. So if we assume the data is interval ratio, then it's on a scale, it's on a continuum. And if it's on a continuum, then we want to be able to represent the continuous nature of that data. And we do that by having no breaks in the x-axis. All of the bars are gonna touch across that x-axis. In a bar graph, we're assuming the data is nominal, ordinal, but it ex exists in groups, they're discrete. So the bars don't touch, right? So if these are continuous data and we made a histogram, what a histogram would do is it would have the frequency represented on the y-axis. So the frequency here goes on our y-axis and on our x-axis, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna put the values that it can take. So one, two, three, four, five, right? And basically we can then graph the data on here to represent the frequencies. So if this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we'd go up to the four for the one, we'd go up to the two for the two, we'd go up to the seven for the three, we'd go up to the three for the four, and we'd go up to two for five. And we would make all these bars wide enough that they touch. And that would be something like a histogram, forgive the fact that I can't draw very well, for this frequency table. And then quickly you can see, for example, the mode. This is a unimodal distribution. Maybe this is kind of a minor mode, but really I would say this is a unimodal distribution. Um, if these data were discrete, uh, so say that they were actually coded for something else. So say these were different ethnic categories, like one really meant white, black, Asian, Native American and Pacific Islander. So say that we had these different ethnic groups. Well, those are discrete, right? They are nominal. The numbers aren't really numeric. They're just placeholders for the um, ethnicity that person feels describes them. So we would put that on a bar graph. And so if we made a bar graph with this, we might then have the actual labels, white, black, Asian, Native American, and Pacific Islander represented instead of the numbers on our x-axis, we would still have our frequency represented on our y-axis, and we wouldn't want these bars to touch. So if this was a four, we might go like this, and then if this is a two, we might go like this, and then if this is a seven, we might go like this, and then a three, and then a two. And so there we have our bars separated um, to indicate that these categories don't overlap and we're representing the frequency of discrete data. And so these are common things that we'll do to graph the information we see in a frequency table.